Still to come, many talks of Don't Stop Believing Judge Anastasia about the brilliant new show. Now, all this week on Studio 5, we're getting ready for the start of the fantastic new talent show, Don't Stop Believing. You must have seen the ads. It's going to be an all-singing, all-dancing extravaganza. <laughs> Yesterday, we chatted to the lovely Emma Bunton, who was presenting the show, and today, we're catching up with one of the judges. Anastasia has had number one hits all over the world, and she's been telling Minnie how excited she is about the first live show. Anastasia, hello. Hello again. A bit of a false handshake, though, because we yeah. were just in a posh hotel. We were. Dramatically, we got evacuated into the sunshine. Yeah, gas leak. There was a little bit too much uh, roast going on it was in, <laughs> the, uh, in the old uh, um, pub. It's, it's difficult for us being evacuated right into the sunshine. Well, that's the beautiful thing. It's I great. know you guys can't handle that. No, no, I can't handle the heat. I'm no. down. I was like, let's go. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> um, love the sunglasses. They're so thank cool. you, thank you. Well, since we were going to be outside, I figured I might as well put on a little something. Eh? Yeah, I'm going to take mine off to be sincere. Oh, okay. I know. It's very unshowbiz, isn't it? Oh, right. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> How unsincere of me. <laughs> Un insincere. Now, I have to welcome you to the Five Sisterhood. Thank you. You are joining the channel. Yeah. We're very classy I people. I care for it. That's <laughs> You say five, and then in, if you don't like people, you can just give them the hand. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. I, it's both for me. Now, you're going to be a judge on Don't Stop Believing. Yes. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I love being able to be part of music in whatever fashion it is. And this is a really interesting new show. And you know more than most people kind of what it's like. You've been you know, hugely successful. You've sold millions, millions I've, of records. Yeah, I've sold a couple records. And, <laughs> you know, so for me, I think that, uh, that watching somebody try to do something different is very exciting. That's part of what um, I think creating music in general is. And presumably you know what it's like when it's difficult as well, because they're going to be sitting there stressing out. But I it wasn't know. always, was it always great for you? I mean, you must have, must have worked very no, hard. No, it's, it's, I think I'm going to probably feel for them so much more because you just know what it's like to sort of claw your way to try to just make any bit of, of difference. So um, I think that uh, really just trying to guide them is, is most of the judges' role on this show. Do you have to be cruel to be kind? You know, if someone's a bit rubbish, are you going to And what kind of judge are you going to be? Well, you know, I've never really believed in being cruel to be kind uh, uh, as, a, as a motto. I'm sure I've been cruel where I didn't mean to be cruel. <laughs> you know, that just comes along with the territory of being a woman. Um, and, you know, having a um, monthly cycle. But um, so I think that I will definitely try to give them as much of an insight of what I see them doing that I can help. So do you think that contestants then are going to have to be quite tough cookies? Because there's a business side, isn't it? They yeah. can't just sing. They're going to. What kind of personalities are you going to be looking for then? Oh goodness, I you know I don't know that it's any any personality is better for it. It's just you end up seeing if you're made for it when it happens, you know, and if you can handle it. Um, and I think that we've watched a lot of people fall off the off the Richter scale and, and get back on, you know, fall off the horse and get back on the horse uh, in this business. So it just shows that it's it's not it's not a per perfect science, really. And presumably you get some haters on the way up. Have you had what I call haters? Have you had any in the past? Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Tons. How do you deal with those? And they'll continue happening, I'm sure. So it's just, you just deal. Yeah. And I have to ask you, will you also be judging the contestants on their abs? Because you famously have the most Absolutely. amazing stomach muscles. Yeah, I mean, I, surely that's got to be a big. Well, that's really half why the battle. I'm here. You know, <laughs> it's all a bit. Before they can even get on stage, they have to show me their abs. Yeah. And are you looking for six pack, eight pack? What's the um, deal with the well, chaps? In England, there's this there's this very popular one pack that you guys have. <laughs> the so I think that that could be that could be like the the, the real the real go. If, if yeah. we can get a bubble one, you, do you think? If you can get. A one and yeah. below, you're on the show. Okay, boys, Ooh, take notes. that rhymed. <laughs> oh, my God. Holler. <laughs> Holler, indeed. Listen, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank it's you a so pleasure to meet you, too. Should oh, put God, shades back totally. on. Oh, oh my God. Out, I yeah? so need to. Oh, there she is. <laughs> She's cool. I like her. Yeah. Now, if you haven't got the message by now, every day we'll give you a little fix of Don't Stop Believing gossip. Today, we're going to...